Imani Lux here and welcome back, back, back to my channel. <laughs> so guys, I know there's a lot going on right now, but if you guys want to know how I get this look with this like jewels and stuff, you can go to my previous video and i show you guys with how I do my box braids. I'll show you guys how I did, um, you know, the jewels and everything. This is going to be an initial review on some hair that I received, well, that I bought from Rosa Beauty and also a bundle that I received from Mikara Hair. Some water wave hair. I'm going to leave all the details down below per usual. I love love this hair this hair was a pre-made wig already 150 density i got an extra bundle of 28 inch to put at the bottom it's me like kind of at my waist you guys so i'm just hop right into this video um again if you guys want the perks on this hair make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my channel i will be announcing the winner to our 500 subscribers video in our thursday video so this is the video that i'm making to let you guys know that the giveaway is close make sure that you follow me on all social media platforms in the description bar below let's just get straight into this video another one so we got another hair review today this is from rosa beauty hair this is their um water wave hair i believe brazilian water wave again all the information will be down below uh, like i always do so here's just what they send you in the package and it's just tips about you know how to deal with the hair and i'm telling me to give them a five star review i'll give it to y'all if i want to period no nah, i'm just joking <laughs> but um yeah so i have a 26 inch 150 density lace wig i also ordered another bundle from a company called mikara hair and it's in the water wave texture as well in a 28 inch because they did not have this in a 180 or 250 density they only had 150 and i knew i wanted a fuller look because 150 is it's kind of okay but it's not as full as i would like it to be it's probably equivalent to like two and a half bundles in a front two so i love the fact that um this is 13 by 4 wig look at the beautiful um you know water wave it looks kind of like a body wave but it's water wave guys so in my last review you would know that i hate when they send you wigs uh with like a little bit of parting space on the side but this is you know it looks like if you had a 13 by 4 front two and it was made on a normal wig like this is how it would look um so i'm just showing you all this is the knots unbleached um i did eventually go in and bleach the knots but this is just what it came looking like um no lace tint no nothing it looks pretty good it is pre-plucked but of course i did go in and pluck it again so the first thing i did do was bleach the knots so i'm showing you all how i did that i will link the video down below on how i bleach the knots and pluck the knots on my front too i did pluck it in this video as well but i'm just showing you that i bleached it so I'm starting off with a bowl of hot water that I just ran from the tap. I'm using this jet black and I'm using this indigo blue. Now I've seen this guy use this on um, Facebook, so that's why I'm using it. Um, these are all the shampoos and conditioners that I used on the hair. I used that Shimmer Lights shampoo to put on the lace after I bleached the knots. So I'm just pouring in the indigo blue first. I poured half the bottle of the indigo blue and then I want to say I poured like three fourths of the bottle of the jet black. Now. When I seen this guy do this, he pretty much said the reason why he added the indigo blue is because it makes it like really, really, really dark black. And, you know, it's just like the blackest black that you can get. But also, if it was going to give me a blue black color, I was cool with that. Um, I did this last minute. I wasn't going to dye my hair blue black. But the reason why I did was because I was just a little bit concerned about the inconsistencies. Being that I ordered the hair from two different companies, I know that bundles can come you know lighter than others so i just decided to just dye it all jet black and just to you know have it one uniform color doing my typical watercolor method so this is just you know what is given i did leave this hair in a little bit too long and it ended up staining the lace not the black more so the blue stained the lace and you guys are going to see that because it kind of looks green so i'm going to show you how i corrected that but um yeah i did the wig first and then i um just saved the water that i had and i went back in i put a little bit of blue a little bit of the black in the water mixed it up and then i just um put in that bundle from mikara so right now i'm washing out the wig um i washed it prior to um putting it into the watercolor because you know i did bleach the knots before so i washed it with the shimmer light shampoo again and i used that sally's 
um, shampoo. I watercolored the hair and then I went in with the um, Garnier Fructis to uh, make the curls pop and to make it soft. So now this is the bundle that I received from Mikara Hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unravel the bundle and cut the tag off. I'm just showing you all the texture. It's beautiful. It's really soft and it's very long, true to length. Um, I'm going to unravel the bundle and then put it inside because you don't want to keep it bound up like that because it may not, um, you know, get the color fully through the hair like you need it to. So I'm just going to leave that in there for, I'm not going to lie, y'all, I probably left this in for like 20 minutes because I forgot, which is, don't do that. Just leave it in for probably like 10. So this is what the hairline of the hair is looking like right now. I'm going to take my Argan Oil um, Mousse and I'm just going to put that on the hairline so that we can kind of just brush all the hair back and slick it back to kind of figure out how much we want to pluck on the hair and i'm also going to show you all how i pluck so i was looking at Loretta andrea's way of plucking um her video that she posted and she said that it's better to use this um eyelash tweezer to tweeze your hair i honestly love this way better i felt like this kind of made the process faster and it did not you know make holes in the lace now i kind of got it mastered to where i don't really make holes in my lace anymore with my tweezers but I mean, ladies, it does happen. So I suggest using this eyelash one, especially for beginners, because it kind of makes it a little bit easier to grip the hair and um, to pluck it out. What I have learned about plucking frontals is the most important thing is plucking in random sections and just parting the hair and combing back and just making sure that you pluck. A lot of the frontals that I receive, I feel like um, it's thicker in the middle, well, like where the middle part would be than on the side. So that's where I focus most of the plucking. Um, I'm also using this pinch method. As you guys can see, I'm kind of like hit, um, carrying the hair upwards and, you know, trying to see which sections are thicker. As you guys can see, that one section is kind of thick. So I'm just going through randomly plucking in that section so that I can thin it out. And of course, I didn't completely like, um, you know, pluck it how I would all the way pluck it because I do want to install it and kind of see what it looks like after it's installed with the plucking. But this is what we have so far and it's the other side. So I'm just going to do the other side and come back. And this is our results. This is what it's looking like on both sides. And I really like it. I think it looks way more natural than what it looked like in the beginning. So now I'm going to add in that bundle that I received from Mikara Hair. And what I'm doing is I'm just going in. I parted the hair and i'm just going to sew in these random pieces um all in the hair i'm focusing it mainly in the back because it is a 28 inch and this unit is 26 inches so i did want it to give me some more length so i'm focusing it more in the back but i'm also working my way upward and um you know just adding the tracks whatever i feel needs uh you know i feel that there's the empty space so i can add some more of the hair too so i'm just putting the needle through and looping it so when i i'm gonna do a more in-depth video on how i make a wig because a lot of people want to know how i do it so i'm gonna have that coming very very soon um so i will give you all the details for that but the method that i use for sewing my hair is just i put it through i loop it through the um, needle and then i just keep going so you put it stitch it loop it stitch it loop it and then i feel like it kind of makes it a little bit tighter so i'm just going to continue to do this and I did cut my wefts. I don't normally cut my wefts. I always fold them over. But I cut it for this one because I wanted the install to still remain full. So I wanted to show you all what the hair looks like. Um, after I added the tracks in it, it is still flat. And this is what the curls look like. Of course, brushed out. Um, it looks way different when it's wet. It looks um, a lot more like slick and a lot thinner. But this is what it looks like dried and, you know, kind of brushed out. So... Just wanted to show you guys that so that you guys can see the comparison of what it looked like from when it was the 150 density that initially was and after I added the tracks in. Not gonna lie, I was a little concerned that the Mikara hair wouldn't blend in with the hair from Rosa Beauty, but it blends in effortlessly and it looks like it has the same curl pattern and everything. So I'm really happy about that. And here, guys, is where I had the game messed up. So what I normally do is I use my lace tint and I will spray it on my hair after I bleach my knots. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just spraying it on the lace on the top. I always put it on the top, like around the hairline. And I will flip the um, unit over and I will spray it inside the lace. And guys, like, ugh, I shouldn't have done this. I should have bleached my hair first and then did this because I felt like this is what contributed to making my hair turn, well, my lace turn green. 
But I wanted to add this step in because, you know, I'm showing you guys the mistakes that I make and how I fix it. And, you know, it's just progress. But this is what I would typically do to a unit. I will spray the lace tint on it and then I will go in with my blow dryer and just blow dry it. I use, you can use cool or you can use heat, whichever one you prefer. But you're just going to dry it so that um, the color tint can get into the lace. And then what I did was I flipped it over and then sprayed the inside of the lace. And as you can see, I'm getting like a lot of, it looks blue. Like my lace looks extremely blue. And I'm thinking, oh, let me just spray this on top. It'll make it like turn brown. But my lace turned freaking green. And I ended up going back in and bleaching my knots again. But, you know, after I bleached the knots the second time, it was fine. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just cutting the unit in a zigzag motion. You don't ever want to cut your wig straight across because then it's going to give um, a wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. Can't you see? So again, I'm showing you guys how green my lace looks and I was just so mad and disgusted because when I put it on my head, it just looks so dark. So what I did was I went on YouTube and I got some boiling hot water, apple cider and vinegar. And um, this woman, she tried this. She said that she got black dye on her lace and she tried this and it worked. And instantly you can start to see the color coming off of the lace. Like look at all that blue. It literally looked like ink. So I mixed... Um, probably like two tablespoons, two or three tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and some hot water. And then I just dipped my lace in there and I left it in for about five minutes. Then I took it out and I bleached the knots once again. And we had our beautiful lace that we have right now. I decided to break up this video and I'm going to have a whole new video on Thursday on how I do my baby hair. So right here, I'm just taking my face powder and I'm just applying it to the part in my hair because the green is still a little in there, but I'm able to cover it with the um, face powder. So I'm just going to apply that with my Morphe brush. So guys, this is the finished result. So, so far this hair is really doing what I needed to do. I have experienced some shedding and that is because I cut the webs on the hair and also I did pluck the front too. So I have been experiencing shedding, you know, but lately I haven't been experiencing shedding. So when you cut the webs of your hair, you're going to get shedding. I really enjoyed this video. If you guys want to update on this hair, I'll probably do an update in probably like a month or two. I don't like to do reviews on hair so fast because the hair can be you know really nice at first and then it can completely switch up on you later so that's why i like to do reviews probably like five six months after so i can give like a full review and also i don't wear my hair every day so it gives me opportunity to kind of wear it a couple times and figure it out in different climates and things like that so guys so far so good all i would say is if you're gonna do the blue black because it you know my hair did end up coming out really dark black and i really like it it's really really pretty the textures blend perfectly with each other um the hair is completely super soft and i love it do that method i would just say beware of your lace and kind of just dip it in and out and don't just dump the whole thing in there don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel definitely gonna be ordering some more hair from mikara because what the freak uh, like it's beautiful it's giving me very much diana ross diana ross diana ross don't forget guys to always stay luxurious y'all see that red button down below can you press that for me you know what it's gonna do if you press that button a hundred dollars is magically gonna appear into your account no, I'm just joking. But you're going to be alerted every time I upload. So, I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of the same, right? Kind of? A little bit. Ah. <sighs>